From 1903 until 1932, Kenosha, Wisconsin's transit system was entirely based on electric streetcars. There were steel wheels on steel rails. There were two bells on the foot gong. Like elsewhere, though, the streetcar gave way to the trackless trolley, which in turn was bumped into history by the diesel bus. But what goes around comes around, and in Kenosha, the electric streetcar is once again coming around every few minutes. Located between Chicago, Illinois and Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Kenosha area is a growing community where new developments are popping up everywhere. New growth planned for old abandoned industrial sites. Now the electric streetcar is rolled out of the history books and onto Kenosha streets. And it is the electric streetcar which will help pull Kenosha into the 21st century. Well, streetcars are the ideal way to travel because people ride because they want to. With buses, I'm afraid to say, and I'm on the Transit Commission, people ride because they have to. We get people who enjoy riding public transportation when it's on rail. If this route was covered by a bus, you wouldn't see that kind of success. It's fun to ride. The streetcar system is definitely an asset uh, to the community. It provides another unique um, aspect to Kenosha, which is different, differentiates us from other cities up and down the uh, Lake Michigan uh, shoreline. The system uses historic refurbished cars to connect new development with old and to connect the future with the past. They run on a two-mile track, reminiscent of Kenosha's original streetcar track. Built in the 1950s, the cars were purchased from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Each of the five cars is painted in a color scheme to honor cities that had similar systems decades ago. Streetcars are wonderful because they're economical to run. There's very little to go wrong. There's no cooling system, no hydraulics, no air compressors, no steering mechanism. There's no tie rod ends. Shock absorbers, that sort of thing. It's very basic, and these cars are good for multi-millions of miles. They probably have them on already. You can see they're very sturdy vehicles. They last indefinitely. We call this intermodal because we're connecting commuter rail with light rail, with motor bus and taxi and interurban bus. We have five modes of transit in Kenosha. Kenosha is very transit-minded. These historic cars are bringing back old memories and making new ones especially for Dick Lindgren. Now in his 90s, Lindgren, like the streetcars, are from a simpler time. He was a motorman for the old Kenosha electric streetcar system right up until its end in the 1930s. You don't know people as well as you used to because uh, we knew all the store people, the big stores downtown, and almost everybody went downtown to do their shopping, uh, their serious shopping, not we used to go to the corner grocery store and a uh, milkman came with a horse and uh, wagon to deliver milk and they used to deliver ice the same way. But the, uh, when you were on the streetcar from day to day and you were working and meeting these people, you had more interest in them and their lives and what they were doing. I come down here um, about uh, oh, at least once or twice a week just to watch the streetcar go around the track. Sometimes I get on and ride, and most of the time, though, I just uh, come down to watch the uh, uh, streetcars run up and down the track and just get a thrill out of watching them. With the undercar rumble and the overhead wires, they're emission-free billboards for modern mass transportation. By the way, Toronto was only willing to give up these cars because their system has proven to be so incredibly popular that they needed to buy even bigger streetcars. Thanks for being with us and please join us next time for more Tracks Ahead.